Okay, so I made this quick presentation just a while ago. So I'll show you what I'm recently working on and the upcoming plan for the next few weeks. So starting with my project is tag management. So first I'll be making some UIs as shown here, tags UI and a separate UI for child tags and then a separate one for managed tags. The first one will be this tags UI. I have made the backend for this. I have added a connection. Let me show you the demo. Here we'll be using pagination to fetch the tags. So this is the query that I've added. Here you can see the user text connection. It will return the edges in each node will contain the data and the ID and the page info, whether it has a next page or previous page and the total count. So let's see it. So here you can see it will fetch the latest five tags. Yes, in twelve. And this is the page info. It doesn't have a previous page, of course. It has a next page. So let's try to fetch the next page. So we'll be fetching after the end tag. So these are the next five tags. And here we can see it has both a next page and a previous page. So I'll be implementing this in the UI. Uh, the PR will be raised in the coming two, one or two days. So I will be in the talking and also the create tag functionality. And after this, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be moving on to manage text. Here we can see the manage options. And along with this, there will be also a child tag options. It will have its own separate UI. Uh, let's look how manage will look like. This is what it is. This will contain the users, all the users that the tag is assigned to. This will again have the same pagination and the same backend adjustments. And these are the actions. These will be implemented later on. And for the child UI, it is similar. Whenever we click on a tag here from the tag UI, whenever we click on the child tag button, it will be here alongside manage. It will take us to a route, separate route, which will be similar, but it will contain all the child tags of that parent tag. So this is what it will look like. And here we will add a parent tag to get to go to its details. And again, it will also have a child tag option here for similar functionality. Um, and then we'll move on to actions like bulk assign, bulk remove, and emailing. So I'll be implementing these in the coming weeks. So yeah, this is the plan. Uh, current organization tag UI, waiting tags, and then manage tag UI and similar functions. This is the plan for the coming weeks. I'll be showing many more demos in the next presentation. I have been left as of now. So this is it for now. Thank you. Vito, could you please go back in, in your presentation? Yes. That, yes. Yeah, do the slideshow where you had the child tags and you said that you're going to write this one. It's not intuitive from the perspective of the user as to where in the tag tree this screen is. Right? So, for example, if this screen is four or five levels deep, it's not intuitive yes, yes. as to how this has gone. And I would suggest you find a way in which you can do that. Okay. Right. So, you may want to think of having a, like the path of, of whatever it is in the, maybe in the space bit underneath the search tags, in that little gap between the search tags and the top of the, yes, right where your mouse is. So, so what about I'm, adding a bar? Uh, hold on. What about adding yeah. a bar? Adash talked about something. Yeah, I can think of it. Yeah, I was, I was wondering about that too. So Mito, if you could take a look at, I know that you haven't started work on the on the UI. So uh, take take Adarsh's suggestions, yeah, and and sort of see what could be done for that. Yes. Yeah. All right. We, we don't have to go to but that about, screen just yet. Yeah. Go ahead, please. About what you were saying, I will... uh, Okay. Other should say. Yeah. So I wanted to say that in pre-CHM. 
how it's done is that when you click a click a parent tag, it opens the child tags right below in a in a nested form. Yes. And okay. when you keep clicking, when you keep clicking the nested tags, it keeps opening more tags until it encounters a tag which has no more children. And that's uh, that's the place where all the people who are assigned a tag are present. So it's all shown in the same UI. There are no different pages for it. Yes, very. It's, it's, oh, so yes. I, yeah. Yes, it's very intuitive. So, Mithil, if you could just take a look at that, especially yes, as I know what that. yeah, especially as you've only done the back end stuff and you haven't it doesn't seem as if you've started doing the front end stuff yet. Um, before you. Oh, I get what you're saying. I, yeah. I looked at the brief videos, but what I was thinking that because all of this will have pagination, so like what you're saying, clicking the tag and it will open a list right below it, then. The pagination would still I mean, be better with this. Pagination could still work, I think. I mean, you would just have to add a button at the bottom of those li the, those list of tags. So, right? <laughs> These are bad things. So it would look um, kind of congested because what I was thinking earlier is that if we add a bar here, right below the search, where it would show where in the hierarchy we are. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. First tag, second tag, and in there, we can click on any of the tags, and it will take us to that ta tags view. Right. But then, um, how would you see the tags relative to all the other tags? All right. Like, like, say, for example, on, on the very, very the top level tag screen. Um, yes. But, all right. Let's let's see what you're thinking about doing first, and then okay, let's, and maybe then, I'm not able to explain. Yeah, let's see what you can do, but keep in mind what the suggestion that yes, we yes. have is, and yes, be yes. be prepared for changes because this looks like it's going to we're going to be going back and forth. Um, one of the things that you could do, Mito, is that seeing that you and Adarsha are in the same time zone, you could probably just uh, talk to one another in Slack just to try yes, and get an idea as to what it could be. But this is, yeah, this is good. Uh, another thing is, how are you going to assign? So one of the things is like, how are you going to assign the tags to people? So you're going to be clicking here in, in the manage and then assigning the tags to people. Um, I'm wondering whether in the user profile, whether we should be showing tags there somehow because I think some of the other applications that we've talked about actually show the tags for the people in their profiles. So so that way when the admin looks at a person's profile and they have a tag like singer or dancer or um, guitar or whatever it may be that the admin can know immediately that that person has those features or those characteristics without having to click through into a different location, for example. So I would think about how that would work because remember, we're yes, yeah. So Adarsh has pointed yeah. out something, so you can check that um, offline and. Um, Okay, tags would also be on the organization people screen for filtering and sorting. Correct. Stuff. correct, correct. That would be one option. But rem once again, remember if you're an administrator and you are looking at somebody, somebody's profile, yes, that administrator should know immediately what skills that person has. Just by looking at the person's profile. If I look at Mito's profile, I should be able to see uh, TypeScript, GraphQL, and um, like Docker immediately without me having to go through the tag screen and then go through to try and find Docker and then see Mito as one of the people. That's one way in which it can be done. But the, one of the things is that somebody needs to be. The admin needs to be able to look at the person and say, ah, it's a good thing that I've been looking at Mito in their profile. He can do TypeScript. I need to get in contact with him. Okay? 
I'm not sure I fully understand what you're saying. Yeah. So in the person's profile. In the person's profile, there there should be it should be immediately. Yeah, it must be immediately visible that the person has certain characteristics. The tags assigned to that person. Yes. Yeah. And that will be implemented. Right. And so it could be another. I think in the profile they have tabs. It might be on a separate tab, or it could be under an existing tab, or whatever it may be. It needs to be just immediately visible. And uh, I think also, not just that the, ta- that the person has those tags, but also the tree to get to that tag would be useful so that, so that we don't recreate um, tags. Another thing that I think would be also useful, Nito, is that if when you're creating a tag, And okay. there's a tag with the same name in existence already. There should be some notification to say, "Hey, this tag is already used." Not necessarily, yes. not necessarily that it cannot be used, but at least showing the person that this tag is used somewhere else, and whether they want to use that one or the, instead. So that, that yes, way, okay. As, as long as long as that's possible, I, we, we don't necessarily want to eliminate the creation of the tag, but we just want the person to know that it exists and they could choose that one yes. instead. Because remember, yes. we're going yes. to have... Yes. Okay, good. And the reason why this is important is because, remember, each organization may have multiple administrators and they may be, they may be both of them trying to get things set up and both of them might decide to set up a tag for, um, for guitar, one of them under... Um, in musical instruments and another one under a uh, concert, for example. And then we now have lots of tags that just are duplicates in places that don't make sense. So that would be another good thing. Okay. okay so tree, I would have to think about the tree structure, I guess. Yes. Currently, because I'm keeping it separate. And so yes, I will talk to the mentor. So. Yeah, think about how that will be done. It, it, once again, this is another one of these things. It's it's not hard. Yes, yes. It's not hard to do from a technical perspective. It's hard to do from the user perspective. Okay, but this this is a really a good first step. Thanks a lot. This is excellent. Does anybody else have any questions or comments? Uh, thank you, Nito. Thanks again. <laughs>